going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to nate's gone trucking episode number 13 i believe getting started here in danville illinois I had to think about where i was at forgot yesterday but we made it up to danville last night i'm doing a quick pre-trip getting everything started and go over here and kick our bar off um, I don't know how that audio is sounding. I was got this new kit. I know the sun's in your eyes. Got this new kit and everything. And couldn't get the mic to work, but then I knew I had to get there's a nail. You don't need no stinking. There's all kinds of nails. But couldn't get the mic to work done some research and realized there was two different cords in it. Just looking at the cords, they were the same. So, now it's working. And this video might not be all that great anyways, so. Um, I'm gonna change a lot of things up on the channel. I'm gonna change a lot of things, period. Um, but a lot of things are changing on the channel. And gonna try to do some things different to help be noticed uh, as far as searching looking for videos and whatnot try to make it to where we're it's getting to be feeling good in the mornings almost fall uh, but get it to where our video and our, my channel pops up a little bit more when people search for things so y'all sit tight hang around for a while I'm going to finish doing this pre-trip and run on over to kick this stuff off. I'll check back with engine in a little bit. Alright guys, I'm headed to, they changed it up on me again, they making liars out of me is what they're doing. Uh, anyways, it, it probably worked out better, better load, whatnot. Not really that they're making liars out of me. Uh, just as she goes to show you how much it can change that fast. Uh, normally we would, I would think we would go to Pittsburgh, but I've, apparently I've got to go now. I'm fixing to head that way going to pick up a coal in Crawfordsville going back to Lebanon. 
So hang around, you're good to see some coil action now. So catch you back up with you. All right, I'm in Crawfordsville. I'm gonna make this real quick. I'm in Crawfordsville. Kyle's got everything worked around there. I'm supposed to load at 12. They told me to come on in there, so I got here a little bit early. Uh, see what happens when we get down there. Picking this one up, going down to Lebanon. Uh, it says I'm getting the coal, so I'll see what happens when I get there. Uh, I might even get to see some, like I said earlier, see some coal action. I don't know. Comment down below if you hauled coals, whether you'd rather haul them shotgun or suicide. And we'll discuss that a little bit later on. I'll catch you back up. Well, I'm here where I'm picking this coal up. I'm going to do a quick update. I'm getting a, I don't know how much it weighs, but I'm getting a shotgun. I'm loading a shotgun. Well, we got to load it so they can unload it. I couldn't remember and had to ask them down there where we're uh, unloading that down in Lebanon. One little tip, if you come into this business, if you ain't never hauled coals, any of the above, it's always good to ask when you check in or before you get loaded how you need to set your trailer up because a lot of these guys they haul to the same places and they know and it's always good they don't come right out and tell you how you need to load yours I don't most of them don't so it's always good to know whether you need to load a suicide or you need to load a shotgun I've never had it happen to me but I've heard of instances where drivers have had to go and get them changed around before they got to the receiver because they loaded them the wrong way and some of these places they unload from the side some of them unload from the from a crane and some of them it don't even matter you know you can do it either way uh, but like i said earlier down in the, the comment section down below put which one you would rather haul uh, suicide or shotgun me personally i like suicide so just kind of gives me a little more peace of mind so I'll check back up with you I don't believe I'll be able to record anything I don't want to try it here because they they're kind of picky it looks like I know some of these bigger places are so uh, I will if I ain't able to do an update once I get it tarped I'll stop later on down the road and show y'all what I got catch back up with you all right, guys. Stop down here in Pittsburgh. There's a shotgun. So it's pizza box away where I just had my lunch. Another reason I don't like shotgun coals, because they can be a nightmare to tart, and or they don't flop. My OCD can't handle them, so it usually takes me a little bit longer. But there's a shotgun coal. I mean, you can see all the bungees. So yeah, it takes a little bit. We're gonna roll out now. We've got our 30 minute break in. Kind of slide on down to Lebanon. Probably stop down there at the state line tonight. That's flying J and there's a little truck stop down there. So, catch up with you. All right guys, final update for today. We've made it up here to, down here to Franklin, Kentucky. Flying J. Uh, been a rough ride coming down at 65 coming down from I'm gonna say well 65 south from uh, I'm gonna say from Indianapolis down to probably E-Town in Kentucky Elizabethtown Kentucky is rough and then you get a coal like that in the middle it'll beat you to death so I think I've got like 40 miles or so down to Lebanon I'll pull out of here early in the morning and try to be down there early so hang tight uh, there's some announcements coming announcements coming to the channel got some some more stuff possibly going on in the background too for the channel so i'm gonna call it a night 
call this video a wrap. I'm gonna run in here and grab me a shower, find something to eat. Edit this video, put it up for you guys. So, I'll check back in with you in the morning before we roll off and do a pre-trip maybe. So, other than that guys, that last mile was the hardest one. Catch you on the next one.